Good morning. Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And it's 648 in the morning and I am headed for a bike ride. I have iced coffee today. And I made these keto energy balls. It was a mix I got from Thrive Market. And it's made with walnut flour, coconut, flaxseed, sweetener, maybe some coconut flour. I'm not sure. But they're good if you like keto. And then it's a mix. And when you make it, you add some type of liquid. I put coffee in mine, but you can put like coconut milk, regular milk, whatever. And then I put, and you put peanut butter or other fat and then sweetener if you want it. I did not add extra sweetener to mine. So we are going cycling to the place I went last week on Alkire Road. It's in Grove City, Ohio. And, oh, my hat was broken. Yeah, want to see what I look like? <laughs> oh, I just had it on wrong. This is my Pelotonia hat. And this is my cycling hair. I wear a headband under my hat to keep my little hair, stray hairs from popping out of my helmet. And then I put, I made some gold stickers on my Cricut for Pelotonia and put it on my helmet. And I might put like uh, my mom's name here or my aunt and maybe some people that I'm riding for, some stickers on my helmet, because I can do that. And then these are my gloves. I don't know if I ever showed you my gloves, but they need to be washed. They are riding gloves. And they actually match my bike and I have a truck and my bike is blue. And this is like a leather. I don't know if it's real leather or not. It should be for the price. And it's padded. So my hands when I'm on the steering wheel, I'm not getting sores on my hands. And these are cool. So they're elastic. But there's a little grabby thingy here when you take them off. It's like a little handle. But let me just tell you, when my hands are all hot and sweaty, I just peel them off inside out. They come off, <laughs> they look like this. And usually the fingers are all the wrong way. But yeah, they say Trek. And then they say um, Segafredo Zanetti. Do not even know what that is. Maybe he's the person, I don't know. I wonder if it tells me what material. Here's the padding, just like the shorts, there's padding comfort you know there's your morning information you didn't need to know or didn't even want to know so we're gonna go it's like I said 650 now we're gonna go on a 22 maybe longer we'll see bike ride and then I'm coming home and showering and then Sarah's coming and we're gonna go, and I'm gonna bring you along. We're gonna go to this place called the Groovy Plant Ranch. And it is in Marengo, Ohio, which is north of here. And it's a greenhouse plant store, but they sell um, a lot of house plants. They also have outdoor plants, but I'm looking for a house plant and they have a potting bar. So what you do is you pick out your plant you can go find a pot and then go to this place and put all your soil and everything. And then if you just want one plant, you don't have to go out and buy all the stuff. It's all right there. I'm sure it's a little more expensive, but I don't care. It's going to be fun. And I already looked on their website. They do ship, by the way, some of their plants. But they, and they make like different, they have different varieties that they breed there or that they grow or that you can't get. I don't know. I don't know much about plants other than I want a low light plant to put on my coffee table. So we're gonna do that today and then we'll probably go to the pool because it's gonna be close to 90. Yeah, I ran a lot of errands last night. I went to my office. 
so it looks like we're doing hybrid or remote or something so we'll be in the office at some point each week one two three days i don't know yet it's not really been determined but it looks like we're going to be spending some time in the office which is fine so i went in and um we won't be at our probably our permanent desks where we were before so what we'll do is i have a locker there i put my extra keyboard mouse mouse pad any office supplies i wanted to keep and I cleaned out my filing cabinet and all of my desk stuff and my and I cleaned out my locker that had other stuff in it to make room so that when it's time to go in it doesn't matter where I sit if that makes sense so we all have laptops and at the office we have what's called a docking station and our laptops snap onto the docking station so we don't have to plug them in that's the power source and it also connects us directly to the office network not our home network so but all of the desks in there do the same thing so we'll go in we snap in our computer and yeah that's it and then we move along move about our business we can get to work it'll also access the monitors at our desk and we just have to tidy up you know like sanitize between people because i probably won't be at the same desk every day so there's that but i did that last night i went to costco oh Rama, i have to remember to show you I got Sarah and I, I bought it from one for myself too. Christmas gift. She knows about it. So if she watches this, but she can't have it till Christmas. But uh, if you're an office supply or a pen person, the, Z the Zebra Mild Miners, they're like a highlighter, but maybe a little more opaque than a highlighter, but you can use them like a highlight. I love them. So they had a pack at Costco, which had 25 colors of the mild liners and five mild liners with the brush tip for fancy lettering for $30, which was a really decent deal. So we both wanted those for next year. So I got us each a box. Mine will just go into my planner kit and Sarah's will go into Christmas. So ho, ho, ho. Because yesterday was the official halfway point till Christmas. So I think I'm allowed to shop openly now and not have to hide. I don't need to be a closet Christmas shopper, right? We need to get moving, guys. Head south on Cambridge Way toward Birchwood Street. I'm heading south. All right. Let us get going. I will maybe take some video of my ride. We'll see. I just want to get it done early. Because like I said, it's supposed to be 88. Turn right onto Birchwood Street, then turn right onto Hill Road right. North. It's supposed to be 88 degrees today, and nobody wants to be out bicycling in 88 degree weather. So I will talk with you later. Alrighty, guys, I am back from my 22 mile bike ride. Ugh, that's work, let me tell you. I did not want to get up and do that. So right now, <laughs> Now that I'm home and showered and clean, I'm waiting for, oh, I got a rock in my shoe, waiting for Sarah. We're gonna run some errands. Speedy has to go to the bike doctor. Speedy's my bike. She needs a little tune-up. I got new cables for the gear shifters and now they need to be adjusted, which is normal. They need to be stretched, you know, they loosen up. So I need to do that. And then we're going to Target because, well, duh. And then we're going to the plant place. Probably go to Target last, I guess I'd have to say, since what I want's in the refrigerator section. But, anywho, we're just walking down the street to my farm stand, which is so nice that I can walk there. And my girl needs some corn and I need a vegetable we're gonna grill later but it's literally at the top of the street yeah isn't that kind of cool sometimes I used to stop on my way home from work but we need to keep our bodies moving guys bodies must move all right I'll show you when I get there get yourself ready And this is my little farm stand in the middle of a parking lot. Isn't it so cool? All kinds of fresh produce. Let's buy stuff. Oh, 
I just got home and I'll show you what I bought from the farm stand. I got some awesome green onions. What I've learned is if you have a garden, you can cut it off here and replant these and they'll grow again. I don't have a garden, so we won't do that. Hi, doves. And then I got a big old cucumber. I love having this fresh produce. A bell pepper, I hear you, buddy. And a zucchini that I'm gonna grill today with my steak. Sarah's gonna have, she's vegetarian, she'll have a Beyond Burger. But I got her four ears of Ohio corn. It's a little early, so it's kind of small. So I got her four ears. I figure she'll tell me what she wants and then she can take the rest home. But what I will do is chop up these green onions because they look delicious. I love green onions. Right now, I need to make a drink. What's the matter, boys? They might be hungry. So I guess I'll feed them while I'm talking to you. So I'll chop up all my vegetables and my zucchini gets cut up nice and thick. And then it goes on the grill once the steak and the meat come off. What is it, buddy? I'm coming. Keep telling me, I'm hungry, lady. I gotta let the water get warm. <laughs> I have to put all of these away, all my plastic cups. These I use when I bicycle, although I need a new, I really like the Camelback. I'll show you. It's a therm, it's an insulated water bottle for my bike. So what I do is freeze half water. Then I put regular, you know, just room temperature water on top and it keeps my water very cold. This one does not. So I'm gonna be on the hunt for another, they're just expensive. This one was $25, like that's a lot of money, but who doesn't want to be super hot, right? That's the, the thing, like it's $25 for a water bottle, but it's insulated so it keeps my water cold much longer. So there's that. Okay, baby. I'm feeding you honey buns. <laughs> I typically will put like one of these, a food and full of water in there because they both need more fluids. And I've been super worried about Wellington's weight and they have a vet appointment next week, but I am, I guess I feel a little better. I, um, I'm just mashing it. I got cutlets by mistake or cuts by mistake. Um, every once, I, okay, buddy, every once in a while, honey, it's not your turn. There you go. Every once in a while, um, he'll sit on my scale in my bedroom and he hasn't lost any more weight. So he is, Wellington is 10.8 pounds. I think it's low. I think his weight is low, but it's not, you know, I'll ask the vet. So now what I'm going to do is I need some electrolytes, so let's get them. Hi, Alex. Where are my Alex? Uh, I get these at Aldi. See, there you go, Alex. I get these at Aldi, and this is electrolytes and vitamins, but there's no sugar. After a hot day of riding, I need to replenish. So I will do that which is always lovely, right? Not hot water though. The boys get hot water, I get cold. And then I'm gonna go about my errands. So I will be back. I thought I would just show you what I got at the farm stand. I'll be back.
morning. I stopped videoing yesterday after the plant store, but I will show you what plants I bought when I get home. We're actually gonna pot them, but I found another happy planner. I still could only find the seasonal, but I got two. And what I'm gonna do is two giveaways. I'm gonna put together with other goodies, but for now, I got some planner stuff, but I think it's gonna be like a back to school giveaway with the pens and planner stickers and maybe some notebooks, we'll see. But um, this is the seasonal. I have not found the watercolors in my area, but these are fantastic. I love Happy Planner sticker books. And I grabbed enough to do two giveaways, so I have two of these. So I wanted to share that with you because I thought that was exciting, right? I also found some really cute fall flowers that are dainty, which I enjoy. I don't know if they come in other colors. I found two in this gold and one in this purple. And I think that these are gonna look pretty in my living room this fall. I need to stop buying flowers, but they have come out with some new ones, but I think I'm done. I have enough to do a fall wreath from my inside uh, door and then a couple to put out. So I think I'm good. I'm gonna hit one more Dollar Tree. Then we're gonna go home, maybe stop at the hardware store. Yeah, I think I need to get a piece of wood to hang a wall hanging that I'm making. So I need to get the wood and stain it. And then um, I'm going to the pool today. Yeah, but I need also, I don't know if I need another planter. I want, oh, I do need to go to the hardware store because I want to hang a hook from my ceiling to hang a plant that I bought um, yesterday. So I need to, I think I want to hang it. Maybe we'll see if I'm going to go to the hardware store yet today, but at some point I will make it to the hardware store. I'm not worried. They are also painting or tarring, covering this parking lot, which is annoying, but what else? All right, let's get some errands done. One more Dollar Tree. Guys, I wanted to show you the plants we got. So let's make a space here. This one I picked up. Is that not so pretty? And these are low light plants. And this is from the Groovy Plants. It's a Pathos Golden. They take, you know, low light, which is what I was looking for. So that one's mine. And Sarah got this variation and that one. And then we purchased, hi, Dob. You wanna say hi? You wanna say the plants, yeah. Hi. And then we got these, which these are bird's nest. There's a technical name. They're like a mother-in-law tongue or a snake plant. I love it. This was just mine was sitting on it. And then Sarah got a variegated variety with the white edges. And then I bought, oops. For me, this pot comes on feet. Um, it was a little expensive, but I don't care. It's made out of, I don't know, it's like terracotta, but painted. But I thought it would look really good in, with kind of my boho theme. So this plant is gonna go in this pot and it's gonna sit on this coffee table. I spent $37 on this plant, this plant, and this pot, and a sticker that's in here somewhere, just as a heads up. So this plant place is a little pricier, but it was worth it. That's the name of the place that we went. So I have that. And then last week I forgot to show you, I'm getting ready to go to the pool, guys. We're gonna be cooking in a minute my crochet blanket that I'm working on. Um, that's the colors. Uh, this pattern, I think it's a corner stitch. It literally starts here and it grows bigger. And then if you look over here, I'm turning the corner so it's getting smaller now. 
And this was made out of this burnout yarn that I got at the Dollar Tree. This will take four skeins. And I love that it's chunky. It gets smaller, 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 smaller at its widest spot. And then it'll get chunkier on the way out. So that's the blanket I'm working on. But right this second, we're packing hot lunch and cold lunch to take to the pool. So come along. Hi guys, we are gonna pack a little lunch for me to take to the pool. So I'm gonna have a couple pieces of cheddar cheese. And this is just like a, char honestly like a charcuterie tray. It's not something I'm going to just straight up eat. Like, I'm more, uh, will be a nosher, you know, just a snacker at the pool. So I got a couple pieces of cheese. I will tell you, if you have a Costco membership, I buy these, and you get um, aged cheddar, Jarisburg, creamy Havarti, and Dutch Gouda. The Jarisburg is a Swiss, already cut up. And then I also pick up this uh, mozzarella, cheese and oil oh it is so good so I'll put a couple in here and then I usually add a little bit of like salt to mine but so good and they're mozzarella balls fresh in olive oil put those in the fridge I'm behind you here I've got to get another well I'll put pickles in here for me and, and whoever wants them really Sarah ha I have for Sarah in the oven um, I also put some olives in here for me in the oven she has a or I put in her for her a vegetarian here I'll just put some pickles a vegetarian or a vegan chicken sandwich chicken patty these are just uh, this is a Dollar Tree container this is actual Tupperware and then I have from last night I have a couple pieces of grilled zucchini and then pieces of steak that I grilled and I love cold steak I just put a little salt and pepper on it in here and call it delicious. Cause I need in my diet more protein and we're not allowed to have glass at the pool, which is fine. So I just kind of pre-salt everything, but that's, and then I'll bring up some like pork rinds or something maybe, but that's my lunch ish it goes in a cooler with a couple frozen bottles of water and a drink and then for sarah i have boiling back here it's um fresh local corn on the cob that i bought at my farm stand if you saw my vlog yesterday you would have saw when i went there but since and i she had some last night for dinner she came over we went to that farm stand but what I will do, let this cook for a minute, drain it, add butter to it, and then I'll bring a little container of it for her to the pool and I'll put the rest in the fridge. And that way she can just take this container home with the leftover corn. But I will literally, she just likes it plain, so I'll put a little salt and pepper on that corn and then in the oven is her sandwich and I'll show you how I make that when it comes out. I'll just show you how I do her corn. So probably just a tablespoon of butter. She is vegetarian, not vegan, so I can use regular butter, but she also doesn't like a lot of dairy, which is fine. And she doesn't like a lot of pepper, but she can have a little bit. And a little salt. And then I will just let this melt the butter. And it's so fresh. I really literally just cut it off the cob. But she doesn't need a ton of butter. She just uses a little bit. And that's it. And then I will, Alex, package up her little lunch. 
and then make her sandwich and she has chips here from yesterday and then she'll bring oh i have treats for them i have brookies and we have um i have some raspberry cookies for them i took out of the freezer because you know there's no need to let them sit all summer so that's it and her meat will come out shortly and i'm gonna get changed and ready for the pool all right here's the last of it we're gonna make sarah her sandwich and we have just a bun with some mayonnaise and i have sugar-free barbecue and this is her chicken patty that's vegan and this is how my girl likes it and so that's how i'm gonna make it and then i'm gonna give her some pickles because she needs pickles right and my hands are clean she doesn't care mm. now we're gonna be at the pool so i'll cut it in half for her so it's not as messy And since it's not long-term storage, I mean, it's just gonna be, she'll be here in about a half hour. I'm leaving everything warm, but I don't want that all over the bag. So I just brought for her some chips, her corn, which is warm, her sandwich, which is warm, some silverware with a napkin, and then I brought tr sweet treats for them. So I'll just throw this in the cooler or in the bag and it will stay warm. So let's go to the pool. Here we go, guys. We are gonna transplant the pots or the plants that I got at uh, the Groovy Plants Ranch. This is Pothos Golden. Um, it's a gorgeous gold variegation with a Drafting habit. I don't know what that means. One of the best plants for air purification. Bright indirect light water regularly. So indirect light is nice. I got both of these that don't require a lot of direct light. I did put some gravel like rocks in the bottom of both of these. They both require some good drainage, but also um, so the drain hole doesn't, you know, spill out all over my countertops when I water them, although I will put a tray under them. One thing I have learned with terracotta, which both of these are a form of, they will sweat, like the moisture will go through. So we can't be having that, but. So I'm taking them out of the nursery pot. And this one here is gonna have lots of places to, lots of room, I should say, to grow. I'm doing this in my sink in a dish drainer so I don't get um, dirt all over the house. It's very warm outside. I was working on a DIY for I hope later this week to go up. I was pouring sweat. And this is just a regular basic household potting soil. I'm gonna put this up here in my kitchen. I do get indirect light in here. And I also, well, I was gonna put some decoration on top, but I don't feel like that one's gonna need it. But maybe just a little more soil. I always, what I do is fill it. I try not to press it down too hard, but get the air pockets out. And then like in a week or two, or in these cases, like a month or two, I'll go back in and top off the soil. But that's it. That one is done. Oop. See, stones will go through those holes, they're pretty big. Now this plant here requires some well draining. And this is um, the bird's nest. It's just almost like a succulent. So, oops, is that enough soil? No. I want it pretty high up. This one I will put some decorative rocks on the top because it doesn't fit the pot yet. But my goal is, I hope they grow well. From what I've heard about these plants, 
um, if they don't get enough sun, they'll stay alive. They just won't grow. And I want it to grow. Now both of these will get a good drink of water. This one, what I've been reading is you don't want, I don't want to put water in there or dirt for that matter. You know, you don't want to put a bunch of water in there in the center, which is fine. Just want to get some dirt. I don't know if I need the decorative stone. It's definitely taking up more room than I anticipated. This is the decorative stone I'm talking about. You just put it on top. If you have a smaller plant in a larger pot, it will take up, it'll just look pretty until the plant takes up the rest. I usually will do it in uh, succulents. And this is another one where I'll just put enough soil. Yeah, I think I will put some stones on here. I got too much dirt down in those little leaves, but I'll show you. I just, oh, that looks pretty. Yeah, I'm glad. That looks really nice. And it, you know, it'll get down to the soil eventually, but I don't care. It's pretty. Girl, get your life together. It was really pretty. <laughs> The one thing about this pot I don't love that I bought, it's on three legs. And if you just saw, it tips pretty easy. I may end up popping those legs off, but we will see. And I also love to have my plants centered in the pot. I don't know if that's me, but it's true. And this also will help keep the soil moist longer like this plant requires watering only once every couple weeks but look if you can see down in the top and when I show you these set up I'll show you what it looks like but for now that's it I just need to put this in the trash or back in the pot here in the bag clean up my mess and then I will water them and show you what they look like Here's my one plant. I gotta redo my shelving, but I just have it in here for now. We'll see where it ends up and how much light it gets. But I love that pot and I gave it a good soaking. Oh, and here we go. I love this plant. I'm so excited. And I found the other dishcloth back there. There's a project I'm working on, but I found the other one. I'm gonna make a table runner. But here we go. There's my new plant, woohoo!